G'day everyone, this is Rita Join and welcome to the Unbox Your Gift podcast, how to turn your passion into a profession. Today's episode, I want to dive, dive really deeply into this thing called the belief, what is it and how does it come about? So I've been talking a lot about, you know, a lot of the stuff that turns a passion into a profession is having a belief in yourself, minus strategy, minus talent, is really having belief but what is this thing called a belief? And I did a YouTube video on this quite a, quite some time ago, but I wanted to explain it on the podcast because really I think that it's something that needs repeating and it needs reinforcement because including me, I fall by the wayside and forget how much a belief has an impact on my thinking and on the, on the way I execute. If I execute fully or if I execute on something like kind of halfway or kind of like dabble in it, all is, um, is pretty much foundationally based on my belief. So a belief is anything that you believe is true. A belief is any statement that you believe is true. So the statement of ice cream is nice. Ice cream is delicious. Strawberry ice cream is delicious is a belief that you believe, whether it's true or not, because some people do believe that. Some people do not believe strawberry ice cream is nice, that strawberry ice cream is nice. A belief could be dogs are scary. Some people believe dogs are scary and they have a certain experience with dogs versus someone who is not scared of dogs and who is a vet or who is an animal whisperer or works with trained dogs. You know, so your beliefs are true. Anything that you believe to be true is a belief, in other words. Anything that you believe to be true, whether it's true or not. That's why the media is so, so polarizing because they could say that person X or group X are good and you would believe that or group Y are bad and you would believe that. And so that's why there's a lot of kerfuffle in, and I'm just talking outside of this, but in politics and in all these, um, you know, tensions in the world because it's made up of a belief system. A, believing that something is true or not is a belief. And so what I want to tell you is how do you, for beliefs to serve you, for this, for our intent and purposes of this podcast, to turn a passion into a profession, how do we know when a belief serves us? So, um, or how can we make sure that we strengthen a belief? How do we do? So if I want you to think about a belief like a table. So think of a table that has four legs. So if a table that has four legs one on each side, right? One on each corner. And I want you to think of the table as a metaphor, a metaphor for a belief. If you want to have a belief, for example, that I am smart. Now, even though you might think that's not true or some days you think that's not true or sometimes you think, yeah, that is true or I'm not very, yeah, it's, it's true somewhat. The way to strengthen a belief because the brain doesn't know the difference between something that's real or something that's made up your brain will believe anything you tell it and it will react in due course in the same way. So a way in which to make sure that your brain can strengthen a belief is to imagine the four legs of a table and each leg supports the main belief, which is the actual table. So there were four legs on a table, one, two, three, four, and the top of the table is the actual belief and the legs are what supports the belief. So the belief of I am smart is the table. A reference or what supports that belief of I am smart could be one leg of the table could be because I can read a book. I can read a book in, in a month's time. Like it takes me only a month to read a book because I can explain things really easily to my parents because I get along with people very easily. And another leg could be because I can... I can settle differences with other people. They're all like, they could be, do you know what I mean? Like these are just reference points. The legs are just reference points. They're just supporting the main belief, the table that I am smart. And all you're doing to strengthen a belief is to make sure that the legs are strong. And all you've got to do is communicate to your brain references, past experiences, or even if you've never had an experience about it, anything that puts a leg under that belief and make it strengthens it up. The way a, bra a belief becomes shaky is maybe you say that I am smart, but what could trigger or like alleviate or like dismantle that belief is if someone says to you, oh, you're so dumb. 
how could you do that? Or if you say that to yourself, then the legs start to quiver of that table. The legs start to shake and you're not sure very well if you are smart anymore. So in that case, what you need to do is you need to add up more legs under that table to prop that belief up. Can you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you a visual example, a metaphor of a table and explaining what a belief is. And I've, I've spoken in length about in other podcast episodes that if you want to change your passion to a profession, then what do you need to believe about yourself? And I want you to think about if you need to believe that you are smart, that you are young enough, that you are old enough, that you are enough. You need to have that as the top of the table, I am enough. And what four legs, let's start with four legs of the table to prop that belief up. What do you need to, what, what can you draw on? What can you say to yourself that will hold up that belief to be true for you? If you're going to say something like I am enough and that's the table top of the belief, one leg of the table could be because I've been given the gift of breath. That's all. I've been given the gift. The next leg of the table can be because I was given a warm bed last night, I am enough. Because I have the ability to think, that's another leg. Because I can, I can be in gratitude, I can be in absolute gratitude, I am enough because I can count my blessings. Those are four references to the, leg of the, of, of the legs of the table. And it holds that belief up. And any time your belief quivers, you need to remind yourself of those four legs of what allows you to believe about yourself that you're enough. And if it quivers even further with those four, you add more legs to that table to prop it up. And that's what a belief is. A belief is nothing more than a statement that you hold to be true. And when you hold it to be true, your brain will deliver based on that belief. Whether you believe you're enough, you will gain opportunities, you will gain relationships, you will gain uh, things that did, did not come into your sphere before because your energy changes, who you are changes. And as a result, so too are the opportunities around you. And so when you can focus on a belief and just take that as a metaphor, that it's a table and the top of the table is what I believe. And the legs, the four legs are the support points, the reference points that are holding that belief up. What do those legs have to be? of that table and if I start quivering I need to constantly remind myself of what supports that belief the four legs of the table and if I still continue to quiver and sometimes doubt and don't believe what I'm thinking about myself about I'm enough then I need to add more legs to that table more reference points even though it's happened or not I need to start adding reasons why I'm enough and find them and then you can see from the example that I gave because I've been given the, the gift of breath because I can count my blessings. They're not things that are just like, you have to be somehow special in someone's eyes to do that. They're just things that are, that are God-given. And if you can start with those God-given things, that are, those are the best things to secure your belief in that you are enough. You don't need to have done anything super-duper great because you just don't know if that super duper great thing is going to really give you the sense of worth anyway. So start with the God given things because that is, you are worthy of that because God has given you that first and foremost. And we just have to remind ourselves of that. And the reason guys, just to reiterate why I'm bringing this up is because we speak a lot in our culture about belief and about empowerment and what we believe to be true. And I am enough and you know, you can do anything, but really what it comes down to is just, what is it that we're saying to ourselves in our brain? Minus all the positive thinking lingo, all the positive talk lingo. I mean, you can put that aside and this is kind of positive thinking, but really at the lowest common denominator, what we're doing here is we're just securing the fact of what we can focus on that will just allow our mind to be like a laser and produce what it needs to produce, which is health, which is well-being, which is security, which is connection which is a feeling of gratitude, of contentment, of being grounded, like all these things that we need. And it's only just a focused thought away. And how do we get the focus? By looking at what we need to believe and what are the legs of that table that we need to have? Like, what can I put under that table? In fact, what I would invite you to do is actually draw a table. And if you start to ever doubt yourself, or doubt your abilities, you need to put that table in front of you, a drawing, like put it on a vision board, put it in the, where you work in front of you, 
and just put a table. That's the belief. And what are the four legs? Because I've been given the gift of breath, because I can count my blessings, because I'm able to get along with people, because I can find a resolution with people. Anything that's a reference point that holds those legs up and even add more as to, and just like a shopping list of why you are enough, a shopping list of why you are able, a shopping list of why you are capable, a shopping list of any belief that you need to have that gives you the gift of wealth, of health, of well-being, of compassion, of empathy, of making a difference, of being grounded, of being a creation of God, of ser- of service, whatever that is that lights you up, that has you be more, enhance more, that allows you to live up to your greatest potential, have that be in front of you and be reminded of that. Because if those are those things are not being are not being if you're not being reminded of those things, then I'm guaranteeing it that you're going to be reminded of last night's news or what you scroll down the Facebook feed, or what your neighbor said to you, or what your workmate said to you, or conversation that irritates you, that's what's going to be coming top of mind. So rather than have that take space, have those things that's going to really impact your well-being and having you be the best version of yourself. For you and I to live the highest version of ourselves, we need to be reminded of the highest versions and thoughts that are going to allow us to live at that level. And I'm not talking about solving world hunger, which you can. I'm not talking about helping the homeless, which you can. You can do all of those super duper things, but I'm talking just everyday contentment is what I'm talking about. And that first starts foremost with the belief, the tabletop and the legs that support that. And if we can have that as a metaphor in front of us and to be able to have to see that when what that is and what that means for us, then that allows us to focus first and foremost on our contribution versus what what we lack and that's what we all need that's what we all need so I hope that explains what a belief is in its simplest form in a way that is just bite-sized but digestible and allows you to get a hold of it so that anytime you have any thought ask yourself do I believe this to be true and if not then dismantle the legs like dismantle the legs, take the belief away. Some, if you think you're, you're telling yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm not enough, I'm not capable enough, dismantle the legs of that belief, like shake it. Like that's not true, like find experiences, examples of, oh, I didn't do too well in a presentation. And that's your belief. I don't do well in presentations. The, 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 the supporting thought might have been that supports that belief all because I said something and everyone laughed or I didn't make sense or I, like, I, to, I, like I'm totally, I totally sweat when I speak in a, in, in a presentation. Well, no, actually, I'm excited when I speak in a presentation. Um, I stuffed up last time I spoke, but actually that was just because the PowerPoint didn't work. It wasn't me. I stuffed up last time because, well, um, that word is a hard word to say and it's a tongue twister, so I couldn't say it properly. So you don't, you're just, you're just, what, if it doesn't serve you, get it out of the way because it's taking you away from your ultimate vision. And it's not trying to make you, there's no level of arrogance or ego. It's just trying to craft and sculpt a mind that allows you to deliver the best possible version of yourself based on a focus that delivers the best version of yourself because your thoughts are giving you that. Your thoughts and your belief system is supporting the best version of yourself. And unless you can know what your beliefs are, unless you can dismantle those ones that disable your thinking and your focus, you won't be, you and I won't be able to reach the highest potential of ourselves. So let's focus on those tabletops, those supporting legs that allow us to be able to give the best we've got and to be able to unbox our gift. Because as we unbox each layer of our gifts, we need to get to a new level of belief system, a new level of system of contentment of grounding of i'm enough of the belief that i am enough that you are enough that we are enough that we are capable enough that we have been through enough that we are old enough that we are young enough that we are capable enough to make whatever that thing is that mission is the goal is and see its fruition and see the fruits of our work sooner rather than later and everything is in god's hands obviously but our effort our work has to be in the focus and the thoughts and the beliefs and making sure that we are aware self-aware of what those things are and that we're in control and that's how we can be in control by looking at it in terms of that table and dismantling those legs that don't serve us and maintaining and strengthening the legs 
of the beliefs that do support us. So wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, I hope this has been of benefit. I hope it's like breaking down the belief and what that is has been of service. If it has, please do let me know. Please subscribe. Please comment. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, my advice to myself and to you is that life is a gift. Together with our beliefs, let's unbox it. God bless.